hello, my brothers and sisters. I'm here today to talk to you about the indiscretions of the gaming community. Now, I don't mean the community as far as the people or the buyers or the consumers. No, my brothers and sisters, no. I'm talking about the companies that are indie companies that are taking us to the poorhouse, that are taking advantage of the consumer that wants something new. Yes, yes, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, we are talking about companies that are pretending to be selling to be creating PC games. But no, they are not PC games. No, in fact, they are actually tablets. Tablets on Steam. Tablets that are hidden. Hidden away in a closet somewhere. What, collecting dust or something? I don't know. Anyways, I am talking about tablet games that are pretending to be PC games that I'm losing my train of thought to, oh my god, see how much it affects me. And my accent is kind of changing, I don't know what to do. Anyway, tablet games, we are talking about Prison Architect, and we are talking about Goddess. Now these two games, they pretended to be PC games, and in fact they are tablet games. <laughs> Alright, so, <clears throat> to be honest, I am not a fan of game companies that, whether they're AAA or indie, that mislead their consumer. These Both of these games made you think that the game was going to be a PC-only title or a PC title. It looks like a tablet game for both cases, and it ended up being a tablet game, especially in the case of Goddess. Goddess was really bad and really jumped out as a tablet game with the click here and click here and click here and click there and click 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 <sighs> click 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 i personally didn't play it but i saw enough of it to where i was like no no i could not bring myself to buy that game at all i looked in on it hoping that you know peter m would get his act together and start giving us games that were you know similar to his old style at least but instead he abandoned ship and went straight for the tablet only, or phone app only, portion of the title and left a skeleton crew for the PC version. In the case of intro version, or prison architect, they actually waited for about a year and a half before they unveiled that they are going for the tablet. Now they weren't Kickstarter, they were strictly Steam Early Access. But they had a Kickstarter mentality. They charged $30 for access to the game. And when I actually questioned the price point on Steam, or the Steam forums, all the people that were in love with intro version came out defending them, saying left and right, how it was a good price point and everything. Well, guess what, guys? I told you so. This is a phone app or tablet game. That's it. My name is Wasting Sanity. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And as always, I want to thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it.